Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now, specifically, we're going to be looking at Season of the Chosen. If you guys don't know, Season of the Chosen is pretty much over. Uh, it's been over since, like, last week, considering that was the last really big update we got for Season of the Chosen. Because the next things to expect from the roadmap is Iron Banner, Guardian Games, and Guardian Games Closing Ceremony, which are th things that are not directly connected to Season of the Chosen, which is why I'm doing this review now. It does say, it does say and more, but I highly doubt they're going to give us something related to Season of the Chosen. If they do, cool, I'll make a new review, but I don't think whatever they give us in the future will change my view on this season. So let's talk about we're not going to talk about anything too crazy. We're going to talk about like the the event, the like just the stuff from the season. I've, this is not my first time doing one of these videos, and I'm going to tell you right now, I think this season is going to be remembered very, very fondly, but I don't think it I don't think it deserves it if that makes any sense. So it kind of falls in the same boat as Season of Dawn uh season of the arrival stuff like that because if you guys like are catching on to that you guys will notice that those seasons were really good and it's like yeah those seasons were really good in their own way but we also were coming off of a really bad dlc or season or expansion so in in the case of season of the arrival season of the arrivals was not that great <laughs> uh event wise the event was kind of bad it was a public event those are never good but before that we had season of the worthy season of the worthy was probably the worst season i've ever experienced the, for the worst like content i've ever had in destiny period ever so anything like after Season of the Worthy, literally anything was going to be better than Season of the Worthy. So, Season of the Arrivals, in my opinion, just got lucky. It just got extremely lucky that it was bringing a little bit more than what Season of the Worthy did. It... I know this might sound pessimistic, but it's honestly the truth. It's the same thing with Season of Dawn. Shadowkeep was really bad. And when I say really bad, I mean like... I'm not going to say it was worse than Beyond Light, but it was it was pretty bad. So for us to get a season that not only had a really good event, but had really good weapons and new perks and a beloved character in the mythos as like Saint 14 coming. And if I remember correctly, that's when we were getting Trials of Osiris again. Like there's just so wait no, that was season of the worthy if I remember correctly. There was just so much stuff happening for Season of Dawn that just made it good. And because Shadowkeep sucked so much, I feel like that elevated it even more. Uh, let's talk about this season. It's literally the same thing. Beyond Light was really bad. And for people who might not like that, I'm sorry, but it's just the truth. Uh, Beyond Light was really bad. The... The stasis subclasses were way way too overtuned even to this day some people are still saying it's overtuned i might agree with them on that the amount of weapons that we lost versus the weapons that we gained were pathetic the raid was actually good i really loved the raid although i didn't like the armor but that's neither here nor there there was just so much negative things that happened for Beyond Light. Because, let's be real, after the raid race was over, the game kind of died real hard. So, for me, it was just kind of like a no-brainer to see the next season just be really good. Because, again, there was really nothing to do in Beyond Light. There was like no like cool event that you could do. Kind of like in Forsaken, when when Forsaken came out, you could after the Dreaming City was unlocked, you can do the the well, you can do a bunch of stuff that were events. It Beyond Light didn't have that. We didn't have an event that we could do over and over to farm really cool stuff. We had the the legendary and master lost sectors, but those were not new those were just kind of like hey we added a new difficulty to these 
We didn't have anything like that. We had the hunts, but the hunts were not that great in my opinion. Like, the only thing that we had that was like of replay value was the raid. And even then, with sunsetting being as hard as it was, most people didn't even want to do the raid because they wanted to wait until like a few months later when they were going to be able to use those weapons in the Witch Queen DLC. So again, like there's just so many things that was really bad for Beyond Light that when we went to a new season, it was just going to be good. Like it did not did not matter. Obviously, the I'm not saying Season of the Chosen was like just destined to be really good because of reasons. Uh, obviously because we had matchmaking as an as an event it was already gonna like catapult it to be really good because that those are usually better than public events i like this i like this dlc a lot it's like probably one of my favorites not only story wise but weapon wise as well we got a lot of cool weapons uh the story with Cato was cool the secret mission was fire as fuck but again, I feel like it didn't deserve it as, let's say, some other DLCs deserved it. But even even saying that, most DLCs that I can remember fondly are coming from, like, bad DLCs or bad games. Like, like for example, even, like, The Taken King or... Or Forsaken, those two DLC specifically, the only reason why I remember them so well is because before that, the game was bad. <laughs> like, let's be real, Taken King really elevated Destiny into a into what it is now. It elevated it to a point where people couldn't make fun of us from playing the game because the game was fire as fuck. Same thing with Forsaken. Forsaken really just took out all of the dumb shit that Destiny Vanilla had, Destiny 2 Vanilla had, and just elevated it to something that we could be happy with and not only happy but we had gear we had good story well i mean uh, okay storytelling for depends who you ask but overall it was fixing something that previously was broken so the only like dlc i can really think of that was good and it wasn't coming off of some bad thing is like rise of iron and even then some people might argue with me with that saying like oh well Rise of Iron was fixing the the drought, even though that's a dumb, that's dumb because it's DLC. But that's my opinion. I think Rise of Iron is like the one and only DLC that we've had that was actually good, and it wasn't because of some bad thing that happened before it. Because before Rise of Iron, it was the Taken King, and the Taken King was great. Granted, there was lulls and there was content droughts. But it wasn't because of like, you know, oh, the last DLC was really bad. So let's make a really good one now. So that way people don't get mad. So that's my personal like view on it. Season of the Chosen is definitely going to go down as like a season of Dawn. Uh, maybe season of a menagerie. Like one of the good, good seasons. And I don't argue that point. I just find it funny that all of our good DLCs that we praise are usually coming off of some sort of like lull or some sort of like really bad season like again season of arrivals is just the most perfect one because season of arrivals like everyone just remembers that as oh it was really good and it's like it yeah it was but it was coming off of probably one of the worst DLCs Destiny has ever seen in its lifetime so it's so hard to like really pinpoint the quality of a DLC when it has that at it as its base. So, so with all that out of the way, let's talk about the event. The <clears throat> So the battlegrounds were actually pretty cool. I did like them. I still like them. I just think the bosses have way too much fucking health, like way too much health. If I guess, I guess it comes down to if I could bulldoze my way to each battleground as fast as I could, I probably would enjoy it more, but it's because of the whole, there's like two, 
two events in each battleground where you have to complete and then after that you have the boss fight which the boss fight can take forever because they have they're tanky as fuck uh i think the battleground has a good good sense of like stuff to do and i think the thing that maybe it lacks is reward but then again i just leveled up my hammer all the way up so i'm gonna see i'm gonna tinker around with it but even then like i'm still like whatever's about it to be quite honest like when it comes to like the helm let's talk about the helm when it comes to the helm i think it's a great idea and concept but i think they implemented it a little poorly uh, i think we should be able to get like specific armor pieces and whatnot i think that's a great idea i think the fact that you can get double perks if you go a little bit higher for your charges is good as well i just think it's too many for the charges it kind of it kind of makes it useless because instead of destroying three charges to get a weapon that has two perks just just do the the one where it, it uh it it marks the the weapons so instead of just one one weapon for for three charges you can have three weapons for one charge like at that point it's the same thing for me and that's like one of my biggest pet peeves is the fact that it's just not efficient and that's pretty much it i think the exotics this season were really good i think the hunters was really really fun although i'm still wondering if i'm ever gonna use it the warlocks i haven't used and the titans is like the best like honestly it's ridiculous how much how much you guys got that like this th that chess piece is probably your best pve chess piece ever now and it's ridiculous and i fucking hate it because i'm jealous uh i let let's talk about let's talk about the uh the dead man's tail quest i think that quest was fucking phenomenal it is a showcase of bungee's strength and i want them to do more of that because honestly it was not only a lot of fun to run that with one of my friends but it was also great because not only did i solo flawless that but i also solo flawless it on the master difficulty which was a bitch and i didn't use a warlock which is I'm something I'm happy about because a lot of people usually use a warlock to do one man solos because they're fucking dumb. Like, not that's not that's not fair. They're not dumb. It's just they have a lot of utility when it comes to like grenade. Their grenade is ridiculous. So that's pretty much where it all comes down to. Overall, I think the season was great. I definitely think if last if beyond light and season of the hunt weren't as bad as they were i think the season was would have been like okay but because it was that bad i think people are going to remember this season as like one of the good seasons one of the best seasons even though personally i i think it's it was good i don't think it was anything too crazy uh i can definitely say that because after i was done with my weeklies i would literally just dip out and play like whatever playstation 2 game I, I was playing at the time because that's probably why i haven't been uploading as much is because i just don't know what to do like there's i could talk about weapons but i just i, just, I, just, I, just, I, just, I don't know like honestly either that or i just have like writer's block for like content right now i don't know what it is but this season was fun but i just i don't know what it is man uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys know but i just after i was done with the things i was done there was no there was no like drive for me to keep playing which kind of sucks because like i wanted to keep playing to get some god rolls but the beauty of it is the fact that this season's not leaving me i'm still going to be able to do hammer provings charges all that shit. i'm still going to be able to do that because it's not leaving and that's something i really appreciate because even like for the cryptolith alert i don't have some god rolls that i want to get for that I'm definitely gonna try to get that like Sunday. I don't remember. I don't know when. I'll probably do it the like the last month of the last DLC before Witch Queen comes out. That's that's how I know that's me because I'm an idiot. But yeah, I think another good thing was the challenges. I think the seasonal challenges is a good idea. I definitely think 
that they should give us more than 75 challenges that way there's some wiggle room of of what you want to do and what you don't want to do like for example there's one that says that win multiple rounds in the trials of osiris if there's someone who doesn't want to do trials because they hate trials they shouldn't be obligated to do that there, we definitely should have somewhere you can miss like five or ten that way you can still get that scene that like seasonal large bright dust pile because if you have to do it all it's just gonna be annoying considering like a lot of this was annoying especially like you still have the weeklies so you still have uh, the vanguard weeklies the gambit weeklies and the crucible weeklies and some of these are like annoying as fuck one of like one of them that i i'm still doing right now from week five and we're, we're in week eight right now is the infamy ranks i have to get five infamy ranks and at the time when this came out i was at legend so now i had to like completely do it all over and i think i'm at fabled one or three right now and i'm still at four ranks so that's unfortunate there's a uh, one where you have to complete the nightfall the ordeal on grandmaster that one's fucking rough so i like the challenges i really do hope that they aren't that crazy about oh you have to complete all of them because i can see them being an asshole and doing some shit like oh you have to get a, you have to gain a flawless in trials of osiris or some shit like that and i think that you should not do that not there shouldn't be any flawless there shouldn't be any solo flawless there should just only be stuff that people can get without tearing their fucking head out so that's pretty much it uh if you want to know my opinion about this i think this season is good i don't think it's great i think it was good and ultimately all i ask is give me a good season this was a good season i had my fun with it I definitely want to farm even more stuff, but this was not a season of the Menagerie. This was not a season of the Forge. Those DLCs were just, uh, they were built different, man. They're, they they got a bunch of stuff in them, dude. Like, season of, Men season of Menagerie had not only great secret missions, but it also had great weapons, the great activity, we gave us an, our own area trophies it was such a packed season and season of the forge brought us like so much quality and i mean capital q quality weapons bro like people are still talking about those weapons because they're so fucking good not only that we had the raid it was ultimately season of the forge was really good and I want a season like that. If not, season of the Forge would be better. But yeah, we'll see. Uh, next next season, I'm really hoping we get to see some more crazy shit. Uh, please stop putting the fucking Cabal in it. it. Now that they're our friends, can they fuck off, please? I'm tired of the Cabal, bro. If the next season's Cabal again, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Do like Hive. God, please do Hive. Fallen. Um, ah. Uh, Vex, I don't give a fuck, bro. Just do someone else. God, it's been Cabal forever now. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all these links are in the description below. Thank you, everyone, with the support. I really do appreciate it, especially if you're up to this point. Uh, not a lot of people are up to this point, so if you are, let me know in the comments below. Write three or four, or I'm here, daddy. I don't know. Write whatever you want. I will see you guys later.